Hey, what is up, guys? Ace the Wrestling Up back with you, and welcome to another Guru video. So, in this video, as you can see by the title, the title says, Two Weeks is Not Enough Time. And I'm sure everybody out there in YouTube land can put two and two together and understand what I'm talking about. So, for those who didn't know, we have a pay per view in just a week's time, and it is a WWE pay per view. It is Hell in a Cell. And just last week, we had Night of Champions. Now, I know that last year they did this too, and I know that, you know, people can say, argue about the whole, they want to make more money thing, but two weeks, that is just fucking stupid, alright? First off, you don't, what if somebody did buy Night of Champions, and now they can't afford to, in two weeks, buy Hell in a Cell? I mean, like, let's look at it from their standpoint. Who's going to want to pay, and then you got, and then you got Vengeance in three weeks' time, who's going to want to pay all that money in, just for to watch a couple of wrestling shows, especially with all the streams out there, and it's just, it's really, it's really dumb, you know, two weeks, and not just that, the build-up is so mediocre, okay, so we know that CM Punk, John Cena, and Alberto Dari are going to have a triple threat match, we also know that Orton and Henry are going to have a match, okay, so that's two matches, now, they'll probably announce some Diva match on, on Raw, they'll probably make some mid-card title match, maybe Sin Cara versus Sin Cara, who knows, uh, but the thing is, why am I supposed to be excited for a pay-per-view when I only have two matches given to me? Even with SummerSlam. Now, I know SummerSlam only had six matches, but the way they presented that was just, ugh. You know, when you don't give us what we're going to pay for, you know, I don't want to rely on, oh, it's WWE. And most people do rely on, oh, it's WWE. And most of the time, even not most of the time, but some of the time, you know, it, it works out, and it turns out to be okay. But the thing is, I don't want to go into a pay-per-view thinking to myself, oh, well, WWE puts on good matches in the past, so hopefully this pay-per-view will be good. No, I want to know, oh, CM Punk's going to be wrestling John Cena, that should be a good match. Oh, Del Rio's wrestling um, John Morrison, that should be a good match. Oh, Triple H is on the card, that should be a good match. And, you know, especially when you get five weeks build up to Night of Champions, which, you know, could maybe use four, and then you could have given the extra week build up to Hell in a Cell. That's three. It's not great, but it's something. It's it's just really... It's way too rushy-rushy. You know, they rush into these feuds. They've completely rushed the CM Punk angle. You can say what you want. I've liked what's been going on, but they've completely rushed this shit to the max. Oh, fuck me. They had to have the triple... Um, Triple H match right away. You know, they had to have CM Punk go after the WWE title right away. You know, they had to have the text revealed right away. They had to have all this happen right away. They just, it, it, felt, like, it felt like this feud's just been so rushed, you know. And now CM Punk and Triple H are, what, both on the same page? You know, is Nash coming back? We don't know. It's just this, that whole thing was rushed. And now you have them going to a uh, random ass triple threat match because you figure, oh, I don't, we don't want to do CM Punk Triple H again. Oh, John Cena Del Rio, uh, we've already seen that. Oh, let's do a triple threat match. You know, it just it, everything is so rushed about this, especially with two weeks build up. Everything's gonna be rushed because you've had to rush every feud, you've had to rush every build up into a match. I mean, Orton Henry, it makes sense why they have another match at at um, Hell in a Cell. But the thing is, once again, you know. All they've done is they've had Mark Henry beat up Jerry Lawler, then you've had Orton Ar get his revenge. So it's like, you know, ah, now, now they may be on Raw tomorrow night, they may be doing something on SmackDown, but once again, when you only have two weeks, why are you supposed to be like, oh my god, I can't wait for this to happen, I can't wait for this to happen, I want to buy it. No, it's only two weeks away, so don't even worry about it. I mean, it's cool to think, oh, you know, we've got a lot of wrestling pay-per-views and, you know, it's fun to watch. But the thing is, with all this little build-up, eh, like two weeks is just ridiculous. And looking from it from a looking at it from a, a spender's point of view, like oh, I'm supposed to pay forty four bucks for this. I mean, if you have three pay per views in the course of just over a month, you think people are actually going to want to pay a hundred and twenty, a hundred and thirty dollars? No, they're not going to order it or they're going to stream it. You know, and like I said, that's why they have. That's why they went from making twelve pay per views a year or sorry, making six pay-per-views a year to making 12 because they could make a lot more money off it. And yes, that's important. You need to make money. This is a business at the end of the day. But when you rush it and nobody cares about it, they don't want to waste their money on it. They, you know, if you gave them something that was built up right and you're like, oh shit, I really got to see this. Now they're like, okay, you know, I, I like to say the rule of thumb four weeks in general. 
you know, give or take four weeks, of course. You know, it varies. Bigger events, I'd say six. Um, but hell, I mean, look at back in the day when they had a pay-per-view every other month and there was like two months that. Or even when you had Raw and SmackDown when both of their rosters were so deep, you could do a Raw pay-per-view and a SmackDown pay-per-view because you're still having a pay-per-view every couple couple of weeks, but you've still got time to build up the feuds because it's the roster's cut in half, right? Like, the roster definitely doesn't feel cut in half anymore, especially with this super show shit. Super, super, super show shit. Um, and I mean, like, look at even 03, 04. You had Triple H, Randy Orton, Evolution, all them. And you had Goldberg, you know, you had Kane. You had all these guys on Raw. And then on SmackDown, which at the time was the better show of The Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero, um, Chris Benoit, um, John Cena, Rob Van Dam, Rey Mysterio, Matt Hardy, Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team, and you, or World's Greatest Tag Team at the time, and you could afford to, you know, oh, okay, well, the build-up, we've got two months because it's just a Raw pay-per-view this month, and that was good, but now that you have each show... And I mean, it's for buy rates, because, you know, everyone wants to see all the superstars in both titles defended. And that makes sense why they would conjoin it. But if you only give each pay-per-view two weeks build-up, and you have it conjoined, then it just feels so rushed, thrown together, you don't care about it, the throwaway. And it's sad that a Hell in a Cell match is your throwaway. Like, your he the Hell in a Cell, one of the most brutal matches in WWE history, how they've coined it. You've given two weeks build up to. That shows how much you care about it. And then, I mean, we have Vengeance in three weeks. Hell, couldn't you have given fucking Vengeance two weeks build up? This is hell in a cell. This is supposed to be a huge pay per view event. And they did it last year, too, and I wasn't a fan of it then either, because it's just, oh, we'll do John Cena, Randy Orton. Oh, we'll do this, that. And it's like two weeks is not enough fucking time. Or, sorry, no, John Cena, Randy Orton, that was the year before. The Undertaker, Kane, and then Orton, Sheamus, then Barrett, Cena, of course. But, oh, I, I just, I keep repeating myself, but it just, it's, it's it feels way too rushed. And, you know, they're going to throw a bunch of random mid-card matches we don't care about. They're going to open up with Orton Henry, then they're going to have maybe an IC title match, maybe they'll have Dolph Ziggler defend it, but because there's no built-up feud, you don't give a fuck about it. You just want to see either Dolph Ziggler win or Jack Swagger win. You know, there's no real reason to hate Ziggler and want Swagger to win if they have a match, or Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase. There's no reason to care about it, because you haven't built shit up, and then you just throw a match on the card and expect us to be like, oh shit, I want to pay all this money for it. And then, you know, you get those three, four, five matches you really don't give a fuck about. And then WWE's like, triple threat match. And you like the main event, the main event's good, and you have some fucking <laughs> Miz R-Truth, Laurinaitis, and Kevin Nash run it. Like, obviously not, but I'm just saying, like, uh This is not enough time build up. I'm repeating myself. I'm going to end this video off here. They, they need to do something about this or fix their schedule because two weeks... You need more time to build up a pay-per-view. You need more time to establish feuds that we care about. And not just want make us want to see the match, see the pay-per-view because of the main event. We need other things we care about. Or else, why bother paying $44 for one match at the end of the show? So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Remember to subscribe to the Gurus of Greatness because in reality, we're great. Remember to follow me on Twitter. Add me on Skype. Question me on Formspring. Follow the Gurus of Greatness on Twitter. Add the Gurus of Greatness as a friend on Facebook. Keep in tune because this, this I believe it's this Saturday, we do our, our uh, what do you call it, Hell in a Cell prediction video. We talk about Hell in a Cell. We preview it, the infamous pay-per-view with two weeks. So keep in touch with our Ustream show there. And that's going to do it. So remember, guys, subscribe, have fun, follow on Twitter, repeating myself, but it's all good. Links will be below. Yeah. GOG for life, baby. Peace out.